This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. Six. Could he get a win on the one-year anniversary? Here they come. Glad to have you with us at a turn four for the green flag at Dover. Very quickly, some contact involving the 77 car of Peyton Sellers in lack performance. And here's the 77 you mentioned. Yeah, caution is out. Stay up, Ace. Stay up. Caution flag is out. Get down if you can. Get down if you can. Well, things went from bad to worse with Peyton Sellers. He's already watched the right side of your screen. Well, actually, you see, it uh, looks like it's stacked up in front of these guys. Yeah. And uh, just that accordion effect that got him. I said it looked like Allgaier spun the tires. He actually got jacked up from behind. Under caution for the second time today here in the hell of a good 200 at Dover International Speedway. Contact two drivers, a 0 9 of John West Townley, the rookie, and another rookie, the 23, of Ken Butler, the third, both hitting pretty hard. Coming up off turn two on the back straightaway. We can see how this track will just chew up a race car. Yeah, and these young guys have a difficult time, and you have to run wow. really hard here. But there's just nowhere to go. Something happens right there. The replay. And it's all coming off of turn two. Wow. Oh. John West Townley just goes straight into the 23. Don't know if maybe he had a problem with, the, with his car before that. Man, I don't know. Man, but that was a hard lick. And Butler took a hard lick on that inside. Thank goodness they have the safer barrier. Trouble on the back straightaway. The 52 car has spun around Kevin LePage driving for Jimmy Smut Means, and he has hit the wall a ton. The whole front of that car is shoved What are they doing? Uh, he's going to have the earth. It sounded like he may have gotten a little help, but he shortened the front end of this car up. Second time we've seen a hard impact off of turn two down to the inside wall. See what happened to him coming up off the corner. Uh -oh. Eric McClure is up on the inside of Kevin LePage and just gets into the left rear corner. Wow. And there's just no saving it here. You get spun, you're going to hit something at Dover. And, ooh, hit something hard. And yet the straightaways are banked so much, also, it just doesn't give you a chance. There's no room back there. It's unfortunate for Kevin LePage. He was having a nice day just to Harvick because it looks like Harvick likes that bottom line. Yeah, he does, but it, you can really see Clint get back to the throttle. We have trouble here. Oh, oh gosh. That was a close call. That is Mark Davis, uh, the Silver Springs, Maryland driver, the 18-year-old that's come up across the racetrack and tagged it with the back pretty hard. That was a close call right there at a high rate of speed. A lot of cars avoiding this. This is uh, He's lucky to not have any more damage than he has here. Yeah, I'm not sure. It looked like Scott Speed that just barely missed him going by there. By so fast, I couldn't see what it, who it was. We'll see on the replay here. See what happens. I got, I got a little bit of tap from Jason Leffler there. Yeah, just in some heavy traffic and fast cars all around. Let's see. Ryan Newman barely able to miss him from behind. Pit Road following the pit stop. Joey Logano doing a nice job, though, holding off Kyle Busch. That's one thing I've noticed about Joey Logano. He, oh, got in trouble. Newman is around the wall. It's like that pit, pit road penalty hey, just yeah, compounded itself. Yeah, I've got the back end. Right. Got some red paint on that left front fender. Like so Ryan Newman making a the pass there, getting a lot of speed. Ooh. Yeah, looks like there's something was wrong with Stephen Wallace's car. There's extremely yeah. slow getting in the corner. Really surprised Newman. Got a wreck over here in turn three, guys. That one in the wall, turn three. That is the five car. Ryan Newman again having trouble. He already had a damaged race car, and now it's just heavily damaged. Andy, that goes back to just what you're talking about. You haven't had one of these cars crashed and maybe have something rubbing that you uh, really haven't gotten fixed. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's the that's bad thing about this racetrack, and I've always been very gun-shy of that. When you do have a damaged car, there's... Oh, oh there. yeah, yeah. Ouch. It's not a good place for that to happen, but that's the absolute worst. There's a crash over there, turn three. That's us. The outside, uh, trying to hold off Kevin Harvick. That's for the fifth spot. Brian Vickers there. Whoa. Whoa, and Reagan goes around, and Harvick collects him. And we'll bring out the caution hold on, seat hold pieces. Hold a break, hold a break. What you got? 
heavy damage on the six car for Reagan. I don't Reagan. know if he touched me or if I just got super loose, but just hard racing. Yeah, and I'm not sure David Reagan didn't get the left front down on the apron on the entrance to turn three, and that's what really got his car loose. Sure, we'll be able to see on a replay here. He could have just gotten loose with the car right behind him. You know, it was just before last week's race at Charlotte that Kevin Harvick was down the back stretch entering turn three. See, Reagan gets down in. Now he just gets loose. Well, he does. Uh, he was pretty loose. He getting was there. loose getting there. That's why he was on the apron because it was loose to that point. Seems like after the Carl Edwards, Paul Menard running in seventh spot. Oh, trouble on the front stretch. Oh, well, that was a hard lick right there for Legacy. And he's going to hit again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he got turned from the right rear coming out of hey, turn four down the front stretch. Those are some extremely hard hits. It's good to see this winning net now coming down. That's a sign that they are they're told to give if they're okay. And remember, the, the safer barrier, the soft wall, wasn't here the last race. They just put that in. Oh, get out of that thing. Man, that was a hard look. I don't know if a we, lot of hard look. Those that what, what happened between Legacy and McDowell. Yeah, that's hard to call there. It's just, yeah, it wasn't quite. Oh, man, oh, that's hard. a hard hit right there. And then another one. Yeah, really good to see Scott out and walk about him much, and that's unusual in any of these Nationwide Series races. He's only running six. Uh oh, Scott Wimmer's blown a tire. Hold it down, Cops Brad, coming down. out. Okay, guys. Come on down, come on down. Now, here's the caution we were talking about, the what if we mentioned a moment ago. But here's the what if. There's only seven laps to go now. There's going to be six laps to go when the leader gets to the line. Not going to have many laps to go here, so the leaders will stay out. Now, I can't see really anybody being able to pit, but this is the, the this is the most laps they've put on them, and that's what's happened here. You know, this is uh, why you've got to be so careful not to abuse one tire or the other, because if you do, uh, you can see what happens right here. Scott Wimmer does a great job not to hit the wall here, but he does. Of them, he'll try to take that fifth spot away. All right, let's see if the monster's going to bite somebody else here in the final three laps. Can Kyle Busch hold him off? Here we go. Kyle gets got a great start. Yeah, he was ready for Kyle Busch right there. He's, he's, he's good, good right move. there. Oh. Got him. Here goes Keselowski for the lead. The contact, Bush across the track, but he also gave away the lead. How about that? Oh, trouble back there. Kyle Bush looked like he might have a tire down. He's got something wrong now. Push it and shove, and it'll be white flag next time by for Brad Keselowski. The battle oh, for second continues. We did not expect this kind of finish right goodness. here, boys. Second place. Here goes Boyer on the inside of Logano. Can he get him less than half a lap to go? We told you strange things happen at the Monster Mile, and what a finish here at Dover, Delaware. Brad Keselowski comes out of four and will pick up his first win in 2009. Ow. That's how we roll. You gotta that put yourself in position, man. You guys did it for me. I appreciate it. Holy cow. Oh, man. Man, that was a finish. And another disappointment for Kyle Busch. Too. I, what a know, great not, day for Brad Keselowski. I'm not sure Kyle Busch didn't have a problem getting in the corner on that there, buddy. Oh, listen to the crowd. It looks like he's got a flat right front tire. That would be the fifth race in a row that Kyle Busch has led the most laps. He has only won one of those five. Hard to believe. You see, he's got a flat right front. I don't know if that happened after the fact here, or is that, uh, is that something he had going on before? But what a, what a win for Kozlowski and this team. They needed this real bad. They made up some valuable points. You know, they used up two cars at Charlotte. Yeah, this was a car they had to bring out with no he laps he, on it. Said he didn't want to tear this one up. He was going to take care of it at Charlotte because he wanted to run it at Dover, and it sure did pay off for him. That was his brother, his brother Brian. Yeah. This is their concrete cowboy, the car they won with at Bristol last August from 37th. The car they ran at Bristol, Tennessee, and ran here last fall and finished third. And as you said, it was the third car. It was the last one they had, the one at Charlotte a week ago, and he logged a top 10 finish. Leave out take care of this piece. Don't tear it up now. Absolutely. Man, that's cool, guys. I'm so happy for you guys.
Couldn't go around. This is Kyle Busch backing up to try to, you have to go into the garage area off of turn three now. He went around to turn four and was trying to get in and wasn't allowed to go there, so he's had to back up. And let's listen to some very frustrated radio from the 18. Sorry about that, dude. That, that's pathetic right there. Guys, keep your mouth shut. Just work on this race car. Keep your mouth shut about this. Gotta wonder what's going through Kyle Busch's mind right now. Was the tire going down? Was that before or after the slow down in the contact? Yeah, place? that's the big question because uh, Logano definitely got against the bumper, and I don't know if there was something wrong or or what. Uh, he did hear from these guys, see what they say, but it hard to tell whether he had a problem or not. And with the frust frustrating frustrations have been mounting for, they both get going, and Logano gets a good start, stays right next to Kyle. As they get to the corner. Yeah, hard to tell from that angle. It, well, he was right on him, and I think he had a problem. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.